unfortunate. Anyway, moving on. Oh, and hello, Pokemon. Pokemon being Whoopa. Hello, Whoopa. Alright, um, let's go ahead and just drop a quick bug bite. Um, and by a quick bug bite, I mean two quick bug bites. Alright, so which way to travel? Um, getting off the bike. And I think I'm just going to go the low road right now. Um, I'm going to ignore these fishermen for now, to the best of my ability. Um, and I'm going to fight them in a second. Yeah. Gosh, this is just... Uh, no thank you. Um, yeah, this is just all one big route. Granted, I have a potential catch in the cave coming up, which then I'll have to traverse back to traverse back to- oh, Soothe Bell. Yes, please. Um... I'm going to give the Soothe Bell to Kaito just because he has the highest HP stat, so he'll get the benefits. He'll get more benefits from it. Alright, so Soothe Bell on Kaito. We got a hold item on, finally. Um, okay, so... We have a Pokemon Center. And... So, I don't think there's a dude, so I'm going to- I now have a new place to, like, kind of go and heal up. Which everyone probably knew about, anyway, but I- I'm just going to make trips back when I feel like it. Anyway, what's up? And what do you have to say, sir? Yes, I do like water-type Pokemon. Ooh. Please tell me this is, like, water pulse or something. Oh, finally! All right, I'm going to go ahead and just use that immediately. All right, let's go ahead and get Water Pulse on Kaito. Just because it'll be nice having an actual stab move. All right. And I shall, in its stead, delete Growl. Oh man, I'm so glad that I talked to that dude because now Kaito can actually like do more stuff during battle. Although he's probably gonna learn that naturally like pretty quick here, but I don't know, I just would like it now, sooner or better than later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually switch up his move orientation just so I don't, like, auto-tackle. Um, and I'm going to, yeah, leave bite where it is. Cool. So Kaito's equipped and ready to go. Um, what do you have to say, sir? Um, am I picking up coins? Yes, I am. And, ooh, he gave me some Pokeballs. Okay, awesome. So I picked up some lure balls that'll make catching water Pokemon a lot easier. Um, yep, I have Route 32 catch already, so that's gonna have to be how it is. There's a, there's a young lady back here. Um, oh, oh yeah, today's oh yeah, the event people. Um. Cool, so I'm going to just go ahead and throw that hold item onto Kyoko since she is my poison type user. Um, bam. So now Poison Sting is going to hit it for a little harder, which what they do, but once she learns some better poison moves, which I she probably will, I'm hoping she will anyway. Anyway, now that we're dealing with that, um The problem is Mutsuki's just like too high level right now. But Nagi could use some help. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put my other unit. I said I'm going to put my other unit up front. And now, I'm going to go ahead and give Nagi the... Uh... What? Oh, okay. Okay. I was wondering what the hell was going on, but as it turns out, I'm just on a different page. Here we go. Give Nagi the EXP share. And I'm just going to go ahead and just roll over these fishermen. Because that seems like the right thing to do. Alright, we got a Goldeen. Well, I have a severely overleveled Flaffy, and I'm going to use this severely overleveled Flaffy to my advantage. And just wreck everything. And then Mutsuki will be giving half of that experience to Nagi, which is kind of what I want. We got a cool fish. 
Movers are actually super, like, scary, just because they're this fast. Um, luckily I have a way to deal with, um, the evasion of Quillfish should it come to that, which it's not going to because I can one-shot it. Alright, a nice 163 experience, and Musuki is just going to carry our way through here. Um, sorry, I'm going to pass on that. Um, yeah, basically I'm just going to try to minimize the amount of... Um, phone calls I'm getting, so I'm only going to basically be adding people if they're A, Youngster Joey, which has already been done, or B, if they'll actually give me some stuff, um, when they call me, so. That's kind of objective. Anyway, so, easy magic card. Um, not shifting out, just gonna go ahead and take out this magic card. Um, that's the Phoebus. No, I'm not going to swamp, I'm going to... Undershock that Phoebus. Um, that actually gave experience, and Musuki is now level 22. And, and last but not least, a Magikarp. What do you do? I guess in a way, this Fisherman is actually a lot more scary since Magikarp actually has a move pool. But, you know, with a electric type Pokemon, that's again way over leveled for this area. I think I'm pro sitting pretty. Oh, we got a poly swag, and let's go ahead and just take it out with the thunder shock. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to just go fast because Mutiki is basically faster than everything. Not he leveled up. Yeah, but Mutiki is just faster than everything and can one shot everything with a thunder shock. So, all right, I think that actually makes that area clear now. So what I'm going to do is put Mutsuki back in the back, and we're going to go ahead and just swap our party back around. Um, I am going to actually leave the EXP share on Nagi for the time being. Just because she needs to level up too, she's a little bit lower level than the rest of our party, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and fight this camper. That glance is intriguing. Why do you think so, camper dude? I guess. Alright, we got a Nidoran male. Um, I, I actually have a um, counter matchup just because... Oh, okay, never mind, it has pack. I, for, I completely forgot about that. Um, Nightshade does not do more than half. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to Garnet who can probably handle this better. Alright, they just took that as a free switch, which is a good move on the AI's part, but hopefully an Ember will take it out. Awesome. Alright, so it doesn't get to use that focus energy. And... not very much experience to get around. Okay, we have a Diglett! And I'm going to just go ahead and throw Kaito out there, because he's going to be our best bet for this one. Especially now that Kaito has a water move, which means that Onyx won't be a problem anymore. Okay, I'm not surprised that Diglett's faster, because just because its base speed is so fucking high. But, Water Pulse should take it out. Awesome. Because if there's one thing about Diglett, they're fast, but they're super frail. Which would make Diglett an interesting capture, honestly. We got a Pikachu! Um... I'm gonna go ahead and send Kyoko back out. Just cause Kyoko, I want to be leveling the fastest, honestly. Alright, if I'm going to guess, it probably has um, faster than me. 30. Oh god, that's a 9. Alright, it's 15 more than half. Yes. Actually, it's about half. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and risk this. Mm, okay, we're good. Alright, just gotta make sure I heal up Kyoko going back. But, yep, able to take out that Pikachu with a pair of Nightshades. Give Nagi some good experience. And that camper is down. Um, uh, probably items and stuff along, but I'm going to just play super safe. Um, so safe in fact that I'm just gonna make sure Kyoko doesn't have to worry about, um, potentially not being able to escape and then just dying on the spot. Uh, hello, Mareep. Um, you are a thing that I want to want to run away from. 
Um, let's go ahead and hop into our bike and traverse the bridge. And head to the Pokemon Center that's like right over here. Alright. All healthy. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is switch <laughs> Kyoko back in the front. And let's move onwards. Onwards being actually kind of backwards, just because I do want to conquer what's left of this area. Alright, what do we got here? We got TM09 Bullet Seed. Oh, we have a grass type move now. Which would actually prove potentially prove useful. Okay, there's the camper we just fought, and here's a Pokeball up here. And in this grass we find a Marie. Um Let's go ahead and throw a nightshade or two. And just get some nice little experience. Alright, we got another Marie. I'm just going to rinse and repeat what I just did. Um, I'm actually wonder what EVs Marie give you, if any. Ooh, another great ball. Awesome. I will happily take those. And I think we're pretty much clear. Um, there's only one trainer left, which is down south and near the cave entrance. Alright, so let's go ahead and rest up at the Pokemon Center. Okay, and I feel like Kyoko will... Mm, see, this is an ace trainer, so he's going to have various things. Um, alright, I'm just gonna go at him, like, um, with this, um, party composition, I think. Um, uh, don't mind me, just checking for hidden items, just in case there are any. Anyway, um, that's Union Cave. Um, alright, let's go. And fight this dude. Uh, oh, wait, unless this is a bird trainer, this is a bird trainer, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, it's just an ace trainer for fun. Which, unfortunately, starts out with a bird Pokemon. Damn it. Alright. Um, Kyoko, you're going to bail. Um, Kaito, you've got the best defenses around, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into you. Alright, yeah, I was definitely ready to switch out. Staravia is definitely a powerhouse, so I'm glad that I made the move I did. Alright, Water Pulse is... Oh! KO. Okay. All right. I will happily take an OKO. Uh, let's see. We have an Elikit up next. This one I'm going to hand over to Kyoko. Because I don't think... Oh, wait. Elikit might know Fire Punch? I'm going to risk this anyway? Okay. Quick Attack is what it uses first, which does 7. Crit will do about 21, so we're fine. And Bug Bite did more than half, so I'm going to go... Huh? That's interesting, if I do say so myself. Um, good switch on his, on his part, though. Um, it's probably going to use a flying move on me, which means I'm going to go ahead and throw Kaito back out here. I wonder if he'll predict that, though. Um, yeah, he will, with the focus energy. Um, I don't think Nidorino has the ground typing yet, so... Okay, yeah, I didn't think so, so yeah, I figured it was going to live. Um, it still pecks anyway, that was a critical hit, which I'm not surprised, and it didn't. It hurt, but it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would, I guess, so... Um, yeah, so good switching on my part, I guess, and on his part. Um, Nagi is now level 17, getting up there. Um, let's go ahead and throw Kyoko back out for Alakid. So let's just go ahead and go for that bug bite. Low kick, not very effective. Very not effective because Kyoko is both light and poison and bug. Oh, what do you know? Static. Who would have guessed? Oh, wait. Alright, that's actually a level for Kyoko, though, so that's super nice. But, oh god, her stats are not going up very quickly. Well, this is a bit of an oddish choice. <laughs> oh, god, I'm. So hilarious. Don't you agree, guys? Anyway, just going to do a little easy peasy garnet 
Ember combo and just take this Oddish out. Ooh, a critical hit on top of that. Ouch, edge for that Oddish. Alright, and Nagi's just gonna keep eating half of this experience because that's kind of what I want it to be doing. Alright, so I've taken out that Ace Trainer, which means I can, well, first off, go heal everyone. Okay, which also means Union Cave is just up ahead. Which means I have another potential capture coming my way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start with Gar- mm. Actually, I feel like Kaito's actually better equipped to take out or to fight what's in this or what's potentially catchable in this, if I'm guessing correctly, which is going to be mostly ground types, maybe some rock types thrown in there, and who knows, I might just have to catch a Zubat. Um, there's water. Oh, I'm not going to use the water. I'm just going to go ahead and just use my capture here. So we have entered Union Cave. We have a Sand True that is male triggering Gender Claws number one. Alright, um, I'm going to actually just use this as a training opportunity, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it out easy with a, um, Water Pulse. Alright. Pokemon number two is another Sand True, also male, Gender Claws number two. Okay, um, I would like, you know, not males, please, cave, game, Aaron? That's interesting, um, but unfortunately for me, also male, Gender Claws number three. Oh boy, oh boy, this is not looking good. Alright, we got Santru male, number four. Alright, this is our last chance. Please don't let me lose another capture to Gender Claws. Watch out! Male. Gender Claws number 5, no catch. That's, that's just unfortunate. Not expanding my party right now, I guess. Oh well, I kind of figured this was going to happen that sooner or later. Unfortunately, it's just sooner. Alright, but Kaito is well equipped to handle what's in here, so this is actually a fantastic training. <sighs> God damn it, one after. But yeah, what, three Sand Trues, an Aaron, two Machop. Unfortunate. Um, quick attack. Uh... Honestly, I'm just going to replace Tackle with it just because the priority move will be nice to have. Alright, keep training, I guess. Hello, Zubat. I kind of figured you were going to be in here. And really easy to kill. So, let's just go ahead and just, uh, quick attack. Alright. So. Hmm. I'm just thinking right now because... Hmm. The question is, do I go back later? Or do I use one of my lifelines right now? The lifeline I would use to basically get my Kanto starter of the proper gender. Um. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Alright, so I'm going to be using my first lifeline. I wish to fill out my party with, um. Well, I want to finish off my third team, honestly, so I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Um, the question is, which do I choose? Do I choose... Which... Or what type starter do I choose? Do I choose my grass type? Do I choose a water type? Or do I choose a fire type? Hmm... Well... So first things first, I am going to go ahead and heal up, and then I need to do some thinking. Alright, All right. Uh, let's just think of balance right now. Let me think of weaknesses that I have. Um, weakness to rock, electricity, but that's covered by Mario. Um, weak to water, 
Um, the fact that I'm weak to, weak to both rock and water, um, I'm leaning grass. Um, yep, I'm re I'm probably, yep. Okay, so guys, here is what's going to happen. I'm going to save my game. And I'm going to now cross off. Um, which one am I crossing off? I'm crossing off not. I'm crossing off this last one. Yes. All right. So I'm acti I am proccing my power or lifeline. I'm proccing my change me lifeline. This means that I'm basically going to reset the game until I get a female Bulbasaur. That is what I'm going to do. Female Bulbasaur. Alright, so let's go ahead and just answer these guys' questions and grab our Bulbasaur and just keep resetting the game. Were any Hoenn Pokemon obtainable in Fire Red and Leaf Green? Um, yes, but after the Sevi Islands? Cool. Um, is Dragonair more than 13 feet long? Yes, I think it is, actually. And that was correct. Uh, Pokemon first grade, it was not Bulbasaur. It was Rhyhorn, I think. Antropius can be found in Diamond and Pearl. No? Okay, cool. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Bulbasaur. Um, after I, you know, empty out my party by one. Um, let's go ahead and go into the PC here and move some Pokemon around. Um, actually, I'm going to grab the rest of this unit. Um, I'm going to put away this unit for now because um, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of grinding um, afterwards. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and take Kyoko and throw her right there. And I'm going to throw Nagi up front. Switch you. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up our Pokemon. Oh god, I'm gonna have this magic card flopping behind me this whole time. Alright, um, this time let's save. Or let's save again, rather. Um, I don't think holding the spacebar actually helps the saving process at all, so. No point. Anyway, let's go. Oop. I don't want to look at my trainer information necessarily. Alright, let's go ahead and take a Bulbasaur. <laughs> Alright. I do want to give a nickname to Bulbasaur. Um, that is a male Bulbasaur. So, as per my power-up, I am going to keep resetting the game until I get my Bulbasaur as a female. Yes, Fresh, I am aware that you are still here. Um, there we go! We have a female Bulbasaur. That only took one reset to do. Awesome. Okay, Doki, we have a Bulbasaur. What to name it is the other question. Um, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to name it. It's not necessarily the most appropriate. Um, but regardless. Um, let's see, where did I put your name? Well... I wonder if I even put her name on here. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, oh. I forgot to cross Flory off of my list, but anyway. All right, so I am going to name my Pokemon as such. Um, V, I, V, I, A, N, Vivian. Um, granted the name that I would actually give it is, or the name I want to give it is actually something different. I would want to name it Flora. Um, I have specific biases for that, but... Um, I'm passing up those biases for a different bias just because Vivian is a character in Super Paper Mario and one of the members of the 
Blake Shadow Sirens, I think is the name, so I think Vivian's a somewhat appropriate name at the very least. So, we have Vivian, the Bulbasaur. Alright, and this Pokemon, I just realized that having... Okay, it's going to start at level 10 anyway. Alright, so we have Mario, Vivian, and Flurry completing our third unit. Or so we think. Still have to do an audition, however. So I have my event Bulbasaur. Um, it's timid, which means that it is minus attack, but a plus in speed. Um, I guess that's that's pretty interesting, I guess. Um, minus attack is not necessarily good for our Bulbasaur in the early stages, so. But, beggars can't be choosers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch up like that, I think. Um, actually, tackle there. Cool. So, this is the Bulbasaur we are playing for. So, like usual, I'm going to pause it, um, or as I've been doing anyway. Um, so pause it, going to go ahead and switch over to D.Va. Alright. Alright, let's, let's hope. Alright, so it is in a Pokeball. I am only playing on normal. Um, as a quick reminder... Um, for those of you, um, who don't know, which I announced in the first episode of last session, I will not be playing particular songs because they are either muted through Twitch, or they are, um, or they cause a copyright claim to where it's not, or where my video would not be viewable in the US. So, the following songs will not be played. Two Breaths Walking, Melt, Love Hate, Clover Club, World is Mine, Intense Voice of Hatsune Miku, Yellow, Aikatoba, and When First Love Ends. Those songs will no longer be played. Um, that list will be updated. Um, well, I guess as I upload episodes and I find out more things are actually banned than I thought originally or something like that. But anyway, so this is going to be our song. Look This Way Baby. And I'm actually quite happy with this one because... Um, I really thoroughly enjoy this song, so, anyway, let's go ahead and get this started.
Oh, uh, yes. Oh, right. Perfect. I do not have to roll for this one. Vivian is now a part of the team. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> I think the thing I both like and hate about this is that even normal songs, when I'm like a like on the verge of getting perfect, still feel like a lot of pressure. Holy shit, my heart is beating so fast right now. Whew. All right, let's let's calm down a little bit. Anyway, uh, switching back over to Diva Luck. Ooh, spoopy, or something. Anyway. Um, I guess before I switch over to Diva Lock, I'm going to just throw some emotes in the chat or something, just because it's fun. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and switch back over to my Diva Lock screen. And Vivian, congratulations, you are joining Unit 3. Um, let's go ahead and edit you for your female, and last but not least, Vivian who is also a female. All right, so basically in a moderately unintentional fashion, except for the last one, obviously, um, this entire team has Paper or Paper Mario Thousand Year Door names. Both Flurry and Vivian are, are obtainable support characters in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So that's kind of funny. So I'll be thinking of a name and I'm going to, um, I'm going to definitely be doing um, a name for them later, uh, just because names are hard to think of kind of on the spot, and I don't think I really have any um, any names that are kind of readily available right now. So, so yeah, I probably should have thought of a name beforehand because I knew I was going to go by some naming scheme or another. But anyway, um, I can worry about that later. For now, Unit Three is complete. That means that no matter which gender I come across next, um, I am perfectly available for everything. So, um, so now here's the dilemma. I have a really low level team right now. Oh goodness gracious, do I have a low level team? So I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding. That's for sure. Um. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put my, um, I'm going to go ahead and put charge away, and I'm going to swap out for, um, Disco Inferno. The reason being is because Kaito can, like, wreck the ever-living shit out of the cave, and because Kaito can wreck the ever-living shit out of the cave, um, he's going to basically be giving experience towards everybody, and it's going to be great. 